Hey, and welcome to a very quick AI animation related video as I wanted to share news that Runway ML that create a very popular text or image to video generator have updated their Gen 2 as up to now you could only create clips of up to four seconds long and you can now having generated a four second clip you can then extend it another four seconds up to a maximum of 16 seconds. So I'm going to quickly share how you do that and then quickly show how you can upscale and improve the output using a separate piece of AI software as well. Here we go. Okay, so very quickly, when logged into Runway ML in your account, if you click on image to video to use Gen 2, go ahead and upload an image or do a text prompt. I've got this cool mouse image that I generated using Mid Journey. Just drop that in. Quickly decide if you want to turn on interpolate and upscale and press generate. And this will create the normal four second clip that it has on up till now. And then you're able to resubmit it again and again and again up to 16 seconds. I think how it's working is previously you could make a four second clip. You could then take a screen grab, grab a still from that last frame of the four second clip and then resubmit that to produce more content. So I do wonder if it's taking that approach and it's just automating it for us or if it's actually looking at the whole movement from that first four seconds and it will carry it on. We shall see. Okay, and that's generated the initial four seconds and it took around a minute to do. And our mouse is doing some cool dancing the arms are jumping around kind of badly we probably want to regenerate that a few times to see if we get a better result but let's go ahead and press extend four seconds okay and it's finished processing our clip and extended it by four seconds so it's now up to eight seconds and i can press play you know, for our initial four seconds and then we move into the next four which it does feel like a slightly different approach has been taken for the creative so i do wonder whether it has really is just taking the last frame of our animation using the same seed number and generating more content and then just stitching it together rather than looking at what was going on in that first bit of motion. And I'm gonna press the new extend four second button again one more time. I'm also gonna try this with a landscape shot as typically Runway ML will add more camera movement to that and potentially have the camera panning forward. So I've got this AI generated image of a dilapidated city fully overgrown by trees I'm going to drop that in and press generate. And this is an easy way to create multiple videos at the same time using Runway ML. Okay, and those two clips have finished processing, so we can quickly watch the extended mouse, which is now up to 12 seconds long. And um, so we've got our initial four seconds, and then we get these cool sheep coat things and a giant egg. They jump in, the mouse still dances around, the arms are pretty poor. Um, but, you know, it could be useful for an abstract music video if you generated a multiple clips like this and you could cut to and from and have the sequence slowly evolving. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. I am going to press extend one more time just to see what we get. Another idea is that once you get to that full 16 seconds, if you wanted to, you could then take the last frame of that, drop it back in and create another 16 seconds. So create longer and longer clips if you wanted to. Let's check out the landscape clip. So, yeah, we have our camera moving forward through the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and press extend four seconds and it'll be interesting to see what would happen with that one. Once it's extended to 16 seconds, will the camera just keep that consistent speed moving forward? Okay, and we've got the final four seconds of our mouse created and that extend four seconds button is now grayed out. So we can press play and watch that last four seconds. We can see the feet of the mouse as it walks along and we get these bushes with plants and flowers. Pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and download that clip and press extend on that landscape shot again. Whilst that extends that landscape shot, I've gone ahead and opened up Topaz Video AI, which is a really great paid AI tool which you can install on your computer. Not cheap, but it is very useful for upscaling and improving the quality of your output from Runway ML. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in that mouse clip. And at the moment, it's created a 1792 by 1024 clip. And I'm going to upscale that to 4K turn on stabilization and tick reduce jittery motions up that to three and that could just take away some of the jitter some of the the wobble in the footage the shudder other words are available you could if you wanted to turn on frame interpolation and slow the clip down to two or more times and increase the length of that footage even more albeit slowed down i'm not going to do that this time um, and then for enhancement fine tune and enhance with Proteus is very good, but I'm actually going to try out details with Fidelity, which I typically get the best results with, and then press export. 
I will include an affiliate link to the Topaz Video AI software. So if you do decide to go ahead and invest in this cool bit of software and go via my link, I do get a small kickback, which is much appreciated. And we've got the extended shot of our landscape, which I've also run through Topaz Video AI to upscale it and reduce some of that flicker. And here I have that upscaled footage and we've got the full 16 seconds of his camera moving over the top of a cityscape and it is a little bit blurry and there's you know, some loss of clarity but it's pretty cool and there is a consistent movement of the camera moving forward over this landscape um, at four seconds when it goes from that first four seconds to the next four seconds it does sort of fade away and the cityscape changes quite a lot but at the other changes from eight to twelve um, it's much more consistent, and there's a little lens flare that comes in around here. But I think there's potential for this, and as Runway ML improves further, and if you ran this a few more times, you might get slightly better output. So yeah, pretty cool. And you could, you know, combine this with other digital animation techniques, motion track the footage and drop some 3D spaceships in yourself flying through this landscape, or have text popping up above the cityscape, something like that. So there's definite potential to use things like this in motion design and filmmaking. Then we have our mouse footage, which bar the arms morphing weirdly, is a really crisp and clean image. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit trippy, but I think there's potential for things like this and we could rerun it multiple times. And as Runway ML improves, it's gonna be really interesting to see how this can work in a production process. The only thing to do now is to have this mouse dance to some music. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the barge in them. Got my heart, no barge in them. From the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wait the neighbors up. Break you in, then break you out. That's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you do enjoy videos like this and you're interested in what's coming in the world of AI animation, how you can use it along with other traditional digital animation techniques, please press subscribe. And yes, please check out AIanimation.com and come and say hello in the Discord. All right, thanks very much. Have an awesome day. Cheers.